Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with ericstrains.com and welcome to episode 9 of my video train blog series. It's the first week of July 2011 and as is typical for this time of year, progress on the layout has slowed down a little bit because I've been doing stuff like vacations and backpacking trips and so forth. We also bought a new car last week so I haven't had as much money to spend on trains lately. But I do have two new engines that I want to show you today. For the first one, we're going to take a trip over to Legacy Station in Lawrenceville, Georgia and pick up my new Lionel Vision Line 700E Hudson. That should be a lot of fun so let's go ahead and jump in the car and head over there. There. Okay, so here we are. I'm on my way over to Legacy Station, which is the train store in Lawrenceville, Georgia that I buy a lot of my trains from. I don't live in Lawrenceville, as I've said before. I live in Woodstock, which is clear across on the other side of Atlanta. So it takes about 45 minutes to get over to Legacy Station. But like I've said before, if it's a big item, I will drive over there and pick it up because then I don't have to pay for shipping. If it's something small, I'll usually just have them ship it and it gets to my house overnight. Uh, so we should be there in a few minutes. We're going to pick up the Lionel Vision Line Hudson. Uh, I've heard it's beautiful and sounds great and runs great. So I'm real excited to get it out of the box. I heard that they used some of the tooling from the original Hudson that Lionel made back in the 1950s. Uh, I don't know how much of the original tooling they used or if that was just some sort of a, a marketing ploy, but we'll find out. Um, my personal opinion is that I really don't want that much tooling from a 1950s model in a modern high-tech engine uh, simply because it's you know from the 1950s and the toolings made today are quite honestly much better they're much more detailed and in much higher quality uh, but you know that's just my opinion I'm sure it's gonna be great I'm sure it's gonna look and sound fabulous so I'm not that worried about it I just wanted to point that out anyway we should be there in about 10 minutes and then we'll go inside uh, say hello to Brian and uh, take the new Hudson out of the box. Okay, so here we are. Here's Brian, owner of Legacy Station. And here's our new Lionel Vision Line 700E. Fresh in the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Nice, pretty Vision Line box. Here's the, uh, here's the engine and here's the tender. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get them unwrapped. Okay. Jim. Yeah, this is Jim. He also works at Legacy. Have to introduce that other pair of hands there. There yeah. it is. There it is. Real nice looking. And this has the swinging bell and the, the smoking whistle. And I think it has the blowdown effects too. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. And here's the tender over here. It looks like a post-war engine, but brand new and with, with a few more bells and whistles. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, before it goes on the track, we're going to put some smoke in. So smoke goes in the smokestack there, and then the whistle back there. And Brian's going to show you how to take the whistle off. And we're using Mega Steam. That's what I use. Smoke ultra fine point dispenser here. I find that Mega Steam has the whitest smoke. That's why I like it. it. Doesn't last as long as some of the other brands, but it burns whiter. Which is probably why it doesn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> it smells good. It dissipates too, you know, it doesn't hang around. Yeah. Okay, that's 10. Okay. And then we'll put a few drops up in the. Uh... They want 20 in the smokestack. Okay. Cool. And then show them where the controls are. Oh yeah, this is a real nice feature. Yep, right there. There's all your uh, TMCC controls and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and get it on the track. All right, let's power it up. 5344, do you copy? Over. Roger that, 5344 here, I read you. Over. Please start up and stand by for track orders. Copy that, out. I like it. <laughs> see the horn. It's a pretty neat effect. And as you, you know, it seems like more smoke comes out. Yeah. Really cool. 
<laughs> Too cool. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at my new Lionel Vision Line 700E Hudson. It looks like they actually did use some of the tooling from the original 700E that Lionel made back in the 1930s. Now if you don't know the story of the 700E, it's basically one of the most iconic engines that Lionel ever made. It was the first full-scale ultra-realistic engine that Lionel produced. They made it from 1937 until I believe 1939 and at that time it was very expensive. It cost $75 which was a whole lot of money back in 1937, and it has since become one of the most iconic and collectible Lionel engines ever made. So the new Vision Line version is sort of like a 21st century take of that classic 700E. Now I found this engine very interesting because when I first saw it in the catalog, in my ignorance I sort of thought, well, it's a Vision Line engine so it's going to be very prototypical and very realistic and very detailed, but it's not. It's definitely not one of the most detailed engines I've ever seen because it's not so much a vision line take of a Hudson locomotive as it is a vision line take of the classic 700E. So if you buy this engine expecting to get a very realistic, detailed, prototypical engine, you may be a little let down. But if you buy it expecting a 21st century rendition of the classic 700E, you're going to be very happy with it. So an interesting engine to be sure. I'll be doing a full review on it in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. Now let's take a quick look at the other engine that came in today. Okay, here's the box that the FedEx guy dropped off today. This is from AM Hobbies up in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. That's why I order most of my Atlas trains through. This is a new CSX SD40 from Atlas, so let's go ahead and take it out of the box. All right. I've already got one of these CSX SD40s. This is the second road number that I ordered. Atlas always packs their engines really well. So let's go ahead and pull it out. There we go. And there it is. Nice looking engine. Go ahead and pull all these little pieces of foam off. And there we go. These Atlas SD40s are absolutely gorgeous. They're some of the most detailed diesel engines on the market. Let me go ahead and turn it around so you can see the front. As I said, this is my second road number. I've already got 4610 and this is 4612. So now I can lash them up and run them around the layout. Let's power it up real quick and you can hear it. Here's the horn. And the bell. And that's all I'm going to show you right now. I'll be doing a full review of this engine in the near future, so keep an eye out for it. So that about wraps it up for this episode. Once again, I will be doing full reviews of the 700E and that Atlas SD40, so keep an eye out for those. Anyway, I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.